Hello and welcome to Water Quality. In this video I'm going to go over an example and show you how to use alkalinity as part of a pH adjustment. So in this problem we have a water treatment plant that's using sodium hypochlorite for disinfection and their pH is 6.8 and alkalinity is 50 milligrams per liter of CaCO3. And so the pH is too low to put into the distribution system. So they're going to add sodium hydroxide to raise it up to 7.6. And we want to know how much sodium hydroxide is going to be required. And so to start with, the first thing I'm going to do, get my pen. I'm going to convert the units of alkalinity. So I'm given 50 milligrams per liter as CaCO3. And I'm going to divide that by 50,000, which is the equivalent weight of calcium carbonate. So it's 50,000 milligrams per equivalent. And that gives me 0 0.001 equivalents per liter. Now I happen to have a table of alpha values for the carbonate system where I've solved the alphas at various um, values of pH. So I know at a pH of 6.8 my alpha 1 is going to be 0 0.7596 and my alpha 2 will be 0 0.0002. And so the first thing I want to do is find the, find the CTCO3. So I use the alkalinity expression, and I'm going to use the form of the alkalinity equation that has the alphas in it, since I have those from the table. So I write out this equation, and I have the alkalinity that I solved above. Make sure when you use this formula, you're always using the value of alkalinity with units of equivalents per liter. And then I put in the alpha values that I got off the table. So, and these are at 6.8 pH. So I have 0.7596 plus 2 times 0 0.0002. You could see here that we could probably ignore the carbonate in this problem, but I'm going to keep it in. And let's see, my pH is 6.8, so hydroxide will be 10 to the minus 7.2. And this is 10 to the minus 6.8. So I solve that, and I get a value for uh, total carbonates of 0 0.00132 molar. If you prefer the 10x format, this is 10 to the minus 2.88. Okay, so the, the previous calculation was done at pH 6.8. And now we're going to look at what happens at a pH of 7.6. Okay. Okay, so um, now I'm actually going to use a charge balance. I could use the alkalinity expression, but you'll see pretty soon what I'm doing here. So I'm going to use a charge balance. And on the positive side, I have the summation CCCs, and I'm putting a knot because this is before the addition of sodium hydroxide. And then I'm going to add the sodium which was added with the sodium hydroxide. And so this pH 7.6 occurs after the sodium hydroxide is added. Then I have hydrogen. On the negative side, I have hydroxide, bicarbonate, carbonate, and also um, the summation of the CACs. And I put the knot because that's uh, just to show that it's before the sodium hydroxide was added to the solution. 
Okay, so I'm going to reorganize this. I'll keep my CCCs over here, but then I'll lump it together with the CACs. And then keep the sodium on this side of the equation and note that it's what's added. And then I'm going to reorganize the species over here. So bicarbonate, carbonate, hydroxide, and I'm going to carry the hydrogen ion over to this side of the, of the equation. And what do you see but this is the alkalinity before the addition of sodium hydroxide. So I call this alkold. And this is the alkalinity after the addition of sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to call this alk nu. And what you could see here is that the alkalinity is only changed in this problem by the addition of sodium hydroxide. So we can think of this as just a bump in the CCCs. Okay, so that's kind of a, an easier way to think about it. And alk old is at pH equals 6.8 and alk nu is at pH 7.6. So I can solve this and you know, just as a reminder, I'm solving for this, the sodium concentration because that's equal to how much sodium hydroxide is added. I'm going to sub in the 0 0.001 equivalents per liter alkalinity that I calculated above. And then for the alk nu, I'm going to use the alpha uh, formulation of this equation. And I looked up the alpha values on my alpha table, and these are 0 0.9505, that's alpha 1 plus 2 times 0 0.0019, that's alpha 2, and these are at pH of 7.6. And then for the CTCO3, and uh, actually I think I'm going to just write this out here, just in case anyone's confused. So I'm just going from one form of the alkalinity equation to another form. And one of my underlying assumptions in this um, problem is that the CTCO3 is constant. So this is a closed system. So when we go from pH 6.8 to 7.6, the CTCO3 doesn't change because it's a, a closed system. There's no addition or um, loss of, of carbonates. Okay, and then I have my hydroxide, um, let's see, 10 to the minus 6.4, hydrogen, 10 to the minus 7.6. Okay, so there we have it, and then I can solve for this sodium added. And just to clarify, the sodium added is equal to the sodium hydroxide added. Of course, that's going to completely dissociate, but this is what we're solving for in the problem. And I get an answer of 0 0.000256 molar, or if you prefer 10x format, 10 to the minus 3.59. And that's my answer.